how's everybody doing? Again, this is another episode of the JBSAA Founder Spotlight. Today we have E. Lewis Sharp, founder and CEO of Meditated Moments. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you today, Dapo? I am doing good. I'm doing good. This weather is better in Chicago. It's 82 degrees. It may be 28 tomorrow, but I'll take 82 today. Right. <laughs> you and me both. Yes, 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 yes. So, but you were, just, just to give everybody a quick up, um, background, you were one of our um, JBS at 25 speakers uh, that happened at BLC 24, 2024, just a couple of weeks ago. How was your experience um, going through that? It was, it was a, it was a blessing to be there. Uh, I, I just thank God for Dr. Bill Winston. I thank God that he is a trailblazer and a pioneer. And it was such an honor to be part of such an extraordinary uh, event, 25 years. And I'm looking for, forward for other years to come. Uh, it, it just was amazing. You know, you think uh, everything is, you can't get any better than this, but we, he continues to take our leader from glory to glory and from faith to faith. And I just thank God that we have, uh, a, a, as I stated, a pioneer and someone who is not afraid to step out on faith to do what God has called him to do, to see advancement in the kingdom of God and to see the people of God to really take their positions and places in the kingdom of God uh, to finish their courses in life. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's very... You know, my wife and I have these conversations about it's very important that you fulfill your destiny before you leave. Yes. And um, JBS has empowered a, a whole bunch of alumni to stop marching in that direction, you know, because God has given all of us an auction, a calling to go out there and turn the wastelands into you know, a, a, a places of abundance. And the way you could do yes. that is through business, you know, being in commerce and business and stuff like that. So it's it's JBS for you and I and multitude of other graduates has been a blessing for us all. So I, I, I echo everything you just said about our point man, um, Dr. Bill Winston and the whole leadership at JBS. So um, that being said, um, give us a little bit of a background of your journey as an entrepreneur, how did you, were you born an entrepreneur? Did you, you know, <laughs> how was that I journey? I probably thing? was. <laughs> <laughs> I would not, you know, um, it, 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 it does happen, but go ahead, go ahead. I will, I will start, go ahead. <laughs> my journey as an entrepreneur, I, I would say that it actually started when I came out of the birth canal. And the reason I say that is because God has, as you stated, God has a mandate for everybody in the earth. I may not have realized it until decades later uh, and can't start moving into that direction. But I believe that, uh, you know, everybody is stamped with something and everybody is stamped and ordained to do and fulfill a purpose in the earth realm, whether it's entrepreneur or you have a, a CEO position, CIO uh, I said that jokingly. I, yeah, I think I was born to be an entrepreneur. I think, you know, one of the things that happened to me when I was a, a young adult, I was uh, on the bus coming home from work. And the Bible tells us to uh, forget not to entertain strangers because some are entertain angels unaware. And I was coming home from work one day, as I said, I was a very young adult. And a gentleman said, in front of me. And he just turned around and started a conversation. And one of the questions he asked me, and I never forgot it. He said, do you know what an entrepreneur is? And I had no idea. So of course, I wasn't going to pretend. Of course I do. I said, no. And he just began to elaborate on that for me. Now, I had no intentions of being an entrepreneur. But when I thought about this interview today, I thought about that incident. And I was like, oh, that is so not coincidental, but that was a footprint of God in my life. That but one of the reasons why I decided to become an entrepreneur, uh, my name is Eloise Sharp. 
I'm the CEO founder of Meditated Moments. I graduated from JBS in 2010. It's because I, as a, <laughs> as a hobby, I was writing greeting cards and special notes for friends and relatives and just doing it because I enjoyed doing it. I loved writing. I loved creating things. And so I just did it over the years because it was something that I loved to do. But when I heard about the Joseph Business School, I was like, hmm, perhaps I could turn this into a business. Just a thought, but let me check out the school. And I enrolled in JBS and I was so glad that I did because I learned so much information. You think, okay, it's a Christian business school. Maybe <laughs> it's not going to be, it was intense. I mean, intense to the point that there was a point where I thought about just dropping out. I cannot do this. I can't finish this. And I remember, especially when we got to the Excel spreadsheets, I was like, I'm not that good in Excel. And I just don't think I'm going to make it through this class. <laughs> and one of my classmates beside me, she said, no, you're going to stay with this and you're going to finish. But I think the, the hardest hurdle for me during JBS was finishing my business plan. It was like, oh, it, it just after eight and a half months is trying to get over that uh, additional half month hump. It's like, I don't have any more steam. I don't think I can do this, but I'm not a quitter. And Dewana Daniels, who was the administrator at that time, I was at home. I had taken off work that day. And she sent, she said, I just felt led by the Lord to encourage you all, you know. And she sent us a record. I forgot what song it was. I think it was by Smoky Norfolk. I was like, this song is right on time, right on time. <laughs> and I just thank God that I was able to get over that hump. But like I said, you know, don't think you're going to go into JBS. Oh, it's just going to be so easy. It's intense. It really yeah. is intense. I was like, but you learn so much. You yeah. learn about feasibility, a market plan. You learn how to uh, do your uh, Excel sheets, Excel spreadsheets. You know, you learn about cost of goods, stuff that I would not have never thought about had I not went through the school. So they laid an extremely firm foundation in Absolutely. us Absolutely. going through that school. I'm so yeah. grateful for it. I, I, I agree with everything, everything you said, because I went through the same program. And I remember when I approached Dean Dave and I said, I'm looking to apply, but um, I have an app. Have you, have, you, ha, have you graduated anybody from the school that's done an app? And Dean Dave is like, apply. And I spoke to my wife and my wife and I were like, okay, let's apply. You know, I would apply for campus because of her schedule. She did um, um, online. So we both went through the same program with the same business concept. I just did classes. She did online. And we came out fired up. It was an amazing journey. As Everything you said is all the tools. Till today, if the thing about God JBS, Living Ward Christian Center, Dr. Bill Winston is that there's an abundance of ideas that keep coming to us every day. And if you so yes. choose to act upon it, we already have the tools to, we don't have to go talk. Like if I have an idea right now, I know how to go file my LLC without yes. having anybody to do it. <laughs> I know how to do it. In fact, yes. I remember my, my accountant telling me that they charge $500 to do it. I'm like, you charge $500 for people to do an LLC that I learn how to do for free? I should be charging two, 250 Man, I should try, try to make half of that money. <laughs> so I totally agree with your, your approach and what you mentioned about your journey as an entrepreneur. I could, I could see that you're not the only one who is echoing what you just said. All of us are saying the same thing, and I appreciate you saying that. Um, so in terms of your, a bit about your business, how did you come about the name Meditated, Meditated Moments? Um, and give us some more insight about your business. Okay. I was in prayer, of course, about the business name. 
And uh, the Lord dropped in my spirit, Joshua 1 and 8, this book of the law should not depart out of your mouth, but you should meditate on, meditate on it both day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. And when I began to think about, you know, some of the things that are going on in our world today, we are so technologically savvy and advanced, but we are declining morally. And God had began to put on my heart some of the things that he wanted dealt with, but in a form of a greeting card. And I was like, this kind of sounds weird, peculiar, but God takes the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So that's how I came up with the name. I, I prayed about it. That scripture was dropped in my spirit. And it was like meditated moments because that's what we do. We ponder deep thought about what we're going to say and the words that we're going to put on these cards so, so that they can be effective in the earth realm. Our mission is to spark the hearts of humanity to face issues of life using the power of God's word as an instrument. And it's a greeting card, life card company. And the life card aspect of it, it deals with some very sensitive issues, but in a tactful manner. Like we have a card about, um, we don't call it abortion. If the card is, my mom is a keeper. So it says it has a woman, a pregnant woman on there. And, you know, the little call out from her belly, the baby saying, my mom is a keeper. The world is right. You do have a choice. But thank you for choosing life. Yes. That's tactful. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, can you give another example? Because I like that one you just shared. Do you have another example of a life? Life card? Yes. Sure. Another life card is your identity. And that's a card that's geared toward our young adults. Um, and on the inside, it has a DNA strand on the front. And it says your ID and then entity, because the word entity means your domain. So your ID, your identity is your domain in the earth realm. And it says that, you know, let me read it. Let me just read it to get it right. It says your identity is your individual DNA entity. And it says, do what you feel. It's okay. Switch your roles. Be free. This is, you know, things, the call outs. It says, there are a lot of voices out there in the world, but you have a choice as to which voice you'll follow. And then on the other side of the inside, at the top, it says accuracy. As my child, I want you to understand your identity is not defined by your feelings. It's defined by your creator. God is infallible. And when he chose your gender, he got it right. Wow. 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 So And the so scripture is Isaiah 30, 21, because all of our cards have scriptures in it. And it says, Thy, and thy ears, Isaiah 30, 21, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. And this card has been selling pretty good lately. Uh, when I was a vendor at BLS just recently, uh, one of the customers, I had a conversation with her after BLS, BLC, I'm sorry, and she stated that she did buy a card for her daughter. And she said that they're going to frame the card. Her oh. daughter just loved the card. Yes. And I hear that all the time about this identity card. I, I find it, I love the cards. I love how its approach is, like you said, we're, we're not saying the word abo abortion. You know, we're saying it differently. Um, how have you been able to get your cards to to the mass market so they could get a hold of us? Well, you know, we have our, our website. We haven't launched out as of yet to go into, you know, retail, brick and mortar retail with other distributors as of yet. Because what I want to do, uh, what I'm doing right now is when you start off in business, you to create stuff and pictures. And I'm actually redesigning some of the cards so they can, they can be better up to par before I start approaching people, hi, can I put my cards in your store? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is, the fact that you're actually thinking of doing that is very, you're, you're, you're getting yourself ready for the market. 
you know, I, I know one of, I, I'm not sure if you, you attended the, the Thursday night when we had Alicia Little talk about AI and how you can use AI to create um, many things. Um, very interesting. In fact, the other day I, she had a, and I want to tie this back to what you just said. Um, mm -hmm. She had a three day kind of like conference that I, I was in and out of it. And one of the programs allows you to write, you could put in, you could put in uh, a short description of your business and it will write a song for your business. You know, so I put it in and I said, I want you to give me this in a New York tone. And it had my name, it had my business name in it. And I was like, this is kind of interesting. And I, I, when you, when you say you want to redesign and stuff like that, I, I was kind of curious what your, if you do, what your thoughts are on um, using technology like AI to kind of do that if you want to. Oh, now, you know, I have seen some, um, because I do use Canva sometimes and, and tweak some designs. Um, and I have gone to the website and saw some of those AI, AI designs. Now they are very good, but I can tell that they, I just can tell that before I even click on it, that is AI designed. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not mm, kind of apprehensive about that at this time. Um, I may change my mind, but right now I think I'm going to kind of go with some of the things that I'm doing right now. Absolutely. I, I'm in alignment with you. I, the meeting I just got out from right now, I used an AI, AI tool just to check something, but I had to reorder it. There's still the human aspect of working with this thing. And I'm like, no, this is what I'm looking for. I just want you to kind of give me an overview. But anyways, we can move away from that topic because that is still technology that's still in development. I would, I would say, I guess a, a, a slightly different change of subject here is life work balance. As an entrepreneur, you know, what, how do you balance, you know, I don't think an entrepreneur works 40 hours a week. They probably work 80 hours, <laughs> you know? So how, yeah. how do you balance that? Um, how, how do you do a work-life balance being an entrepreneur? Um, it takes discipline for me uh, because once I get into my groove, I'm in it and I can be in it for hours. And I do mean hours like one, for one, one time a customer sent me a text. I think it was Saturday, it was, it was a Saturday evening. And so happened I was in the midst of creating a couple of birthday cards and the person sent me a text and said, hey, can you give me this many birthday cards and just went down a list of everything they wanted. And so what I did, I ended up, I looked up at the clock and it was like going on after midnight, but I was determined because I had already started on the birthday cards. I was <laughs> determined to go ahead and finish them uh, to have the products for the person the next day. So to balance out things, you know, it takes discipline for me because as I stated, once I get into my groove, I'm in my groove. And sometimes I have to say, Lois, you just need to take a pause for the cause. You need to go outside, take a walk, spend some time with your friends. Because I, when I'm getting it, when I'm doing something, I'm very focused and I'm very intentional on what I'm doing. Whether it's finishing something, starting something. Like the last birthday card I created for a male, I had been working on this birthday card for months, and I do mean months. And um, I was like, that's not it, that's not it. You know, you have a release in your spirit when it's, okay, this is it. And I was like, that's not it. Make a long story short, a friend of mine had called me the day that I was going to go outside and get me some air. And she said, what are you gonna do today? I said, oh, I'm gonna go outside and get some air. Hung up, hung up the phone with her, got on the computer. It's like, I'm gonna finish this card today. Okay. And so it took me, probably another four or five hours because I wasn't satisfied with the graphics. <sighs> I take a breather now. I'm done. <laughs> so she calls me back. What did you do today? I said, um, I end up, ended up finishing the card that I needed to finish. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. It, it sounds like, Elois, that are the cards unique for that customer or is it like when you create it, is it just for that one customer? And It's not. Okay. It's not just for one customer. They're universal cards, cards that, you know, it's for a male. It may be a male birthday card, but it could be a male that's 35, a male that's 45, a male that's 50. Uh, but I tell you this one thing about meditative moments, we will not display anything in public that we have not gotten a release from the father in private. Wow. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's I I I I have the same commitment sometimes. I'll say, yeah, most of the time when I'm working on something, I I maybe not articulate it the way you just did, but I would be sometimes I uh, sometimes I'd be like, Yeah, I don't think this is it. I don't think this is it yet. You know, and I'll right. I'll just flag it. You know, I may be working on a collection, like I'm, maybe I'm working on my presentation and there's a particular slide that I'm like, I don't think it's it yet, but I'll continue working on everything else. I'll circle back to that one as I continue to get more insights as to how to communicate. Because what you do and me putting a presentation together, it's all about communicating yes. clearly and effectively to the audience. You know, and sometimes in my world, it's like, okay, I don't think if, if they see the slide, is it going to cause more confusion or is it going to be so clear what Dapple's business is all about? You know, so I, I, I commend the fact that you do not release it until you are, you got that clearance from above that this yes. is good to go. And I, I only ask about it being a, um, how would I, what's the, a collector's item. Like if you've made a business a, a, a card for somebody and it's like this card is only for you. This is your card. You know, it's a collector's item and it's it's not, you know, it's a different conversation in terms of the value and the cost associated, because this is this card was just yours. Nobody else in the world has it. <laughs> you know, you know, so I was just like, no, oh, that was <laughs> go ahead. I go don't ahead. do custom cards and I get that question a lot. Do you do custom cards? And I said, no, not yet. You know, and I may do those down the line. Um, it depends. If I get a release in my spirit to do that, I will. But that at this point, I do not do custom cards. <laughs> but I will tell you this, that I get a lot of customers telling me that the cards they have purchased for individuals, they do not throw them away. Wow. Like one of my customers bought a, a wedding card for her niece and she told, came back and told me that her niece said, I can't get rid of this card. Mm. And so I give God all the glory for that because, you know, that's as a result of spending time in his presence, hearing his heart. What does he, what does he want to say through me uh, yes. in the form of a greeting card and then put it out there? Got it. You know, the same Holy Spirit that inspired men to write the Bible is the same Holy Spirit that we have that inspire inspires us to do what we do in our various businesses. Whether yes. it's a greeting card, it's an app, we have an advantage because we have a relationship with Elohim, creator God, who yeah. made everything. Yes, yes, yes. And Amen. you know, like Pastor always says, Dr. Winston always said, you know, that enemy does not want to relinquish that wealth because he know once it gets out of his hands, we are really going to be dangerous in the kingdom of God. Yeah, absolutely. 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 I, I would say if you could shed light on what your, um, in terms of your day-to-day -day preparation on the spiritual side, before you start your day, what does that look like as an entrepreneur? What is your I will commit my ways before I start my day kind of thin situation. What does that look like as a, as a kingdom entrepreneur for you? It looks like getting up out of my bed, <clears throat> getting my Bible and praying to see what's on the father's heart. Uh, what does he want me to do? What does he want me to relinquish? What does he want me to work on? And it also starts with me, you know, making sure I have a repentive heart, 
Um, because, you know, as an entrepreneur, you're dealing with all types of people yeah. and you're going to encounter some uh, friction at times. So you, you have to make sure for me, I have to make sure that my heart is right, that my heart is pure before the father and that I'm not holding anything against anybody so that he can flow through me freely the way he desires to flow through me. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, that's very important. Um, starting with him and ending with him like what what i when i'm when i'm laying my head down something as simple as thank you father for getting me back home safe because sometimes i, I may have been out all day and i came by my wife and my son at home and like i'm home they're safe i'm safe you know yes you know just being grateful a heart of gratitude and like you said kind of checking yourself before you even ask what he has planned for you that day. Very, very important, very, very important. Uh, I and would, you said I would, something, Go ahead. my apologies, you said something key and that's gratitude. You know, always be grateful because we're talking about the all knowing God, the all powerful God, yet he chooses to dwell on the inside of us and he chooses to uh, use us for his glory. You yes. know, we're created in his image and we're representatives. And I always say this, uh, that, you know, sometimes people wonder why things are not happening in the earth realm. Well, things are not happening in the earth realm. It's not necessarily because somebody is not praying. It's somebody is not in assignment. You know, just think about uh, Jesus. If Jesus was out of alignment with the will of God, out of assignment, then there would have not been any place for salvation. Yes, 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 yes. So, you know, when people say, I'm just one person, but you are just that one person that has been assigned to do something specifically by God in the earth realm. If Noah would have said, I'm just one person, the ark would have never been built. Those lives would never, never been preserved. And we wouldn't be here today because we are here because of a lot of people's obedience. And then I'll just piggyback because of Dr. Bill Winston's obedience. You know, mm -hmm. the Joseph Business School was founded, formed, and it continues uh, to grow and expand because I'm quite sure the things that was done when I graduated in 2010, they have elaborated on it, enhanced it. So we always have to give be thankful for God but we have to take our assignment series in the earth realm and, and don't say, it, you know, I'm just one person and it's just a little me. No, you're not just one person. You have a specific assignment in the earth realm and other people's destinies yes. are tied to our obedience. Yes, 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 yes. Just imagine if Dr. Winston had said or did not yield to it. Yes. You and I would not be here. We would not. Or what if he had to just quit, you yes. know, because yeah. I'm quite sure, uh, let reality be told, that there are times that he had to endure some things, you know, he may look, make it look easy, <laughs> you know, but I'm quite sure there are a lot of things that he had to deal with behind the scenes to keep things moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I That's what entrepreneurs have to do. You know, you have to go past your feelings go past disappointments, go past setbacks because you will have setbacks yes. and failures. Failures are part of the process, but they're but use them as growing and grooming tools, and don't see them as uh, something that's tragic. Absolutely, absolutely. There's a seed of learning in failure. You know what did you yes. learn out of it? Um, but you're right. You're right. Um, I, I would I would say as as a as an entrepreneur, who are your who are your role models that you that you look at and say these are my role models. Who 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 are your role models? I'm going to say two people. First and foremost is Jesus because he was the perfect example of being in the flesh, but showing us the importance of being about the father's business and what he did in the earth realm during his time. And another person I would say is Dr. Bill Winston, because 
you look at a person, and I'll say it again, who is a trailblazer, who is a pioneer, and a person of ethics. That's very important to me. I don't care how excellent, how excellent things are. I'm looking for character. I'm looking for integrity as well. And then you, he's a person of faith. I mean, you know, you wouldn't have the Joseph Business School if he was not a person of yeah. faith. And yeah. he was yeah. doing things back then in those times that were not common. Yes. You know, it wasn't common for a pastor to start a business school. That doesn't even make sense, you know, and I'm quite sure he may have gotten some criticism about that, but he had to set his face like Flint and complete that assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talked about the bank. He got some pushback on the bank. Yeah, I can right. imagine when he first started. A pastor with a bank? But you, we need all of these things in the earth yeah. realm. If the kingdom of God had their own banks, their own, can you, like I said, the enemy does not want to relinquish the wealth because he understands how dangerous we're going to be yeah. uh, once we get a hold. And I don't say dangerous in a negative or derogatory manner. I just mean dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. Because once we get the wealth that we need to continue to advance the kingdom, a whole lot of things are going to shift in the earth realm. Yes, yeah. Because you will have a pure vessels doing things to advance the kingdom for the good of humanity. I agree. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 A um, couple of few more questions. <clears throat> One of them. For aspiring entrepreneurs, what would you what would you what would your advice be for them? Kingdom entre people who are kingdom minded, you know, born again Christians that looking to get into business, what would your advice be to them? Um, if they if if that gentleman who turned to you and asked you on the uh, in, 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 in that instant that asked you what entrepreneurship is, and then he you meet him again today and he asked you. What advice do you have for me? I want to go into business. What would you say? I would say first, uh, seek the Father as to what he would desire you to do in the earth realm, because that's very important. You just don't want to be out here hitting and missing. You want to make sure that you are in alignment with the will of the Father. So I say first, seek the will of the Father for what he desires you to do in the earth realm. And then I would say, if you have not gone to the Joseph Business School, yes, I would say go to the Joseph Business School because you're going to get tools, natural tools and spiritual tools to assist you along the way. And then I will also say, don't compare yourself with anybody else. You may have a cake business. The person down the street may have a cake business and the person five miles away may have a cake business. But if you believe that God has assigned you to have that cake business, then don't compare yourself with anybody else. Do the cake business that God has assigned you to do. Don't compare yourself with anybody else. And then don't try to do everything at one time. Take it one step at a time. A lot of times we, when we go into business, we want to do everything and have everything happen overnight and be a one night. I mean, overnight sensation, that is not going to happen. And do your research. Whatever industry you desire to go in, do research on that industry. And I say, look at the trends. I don't say look at the trends so that you can get acclimated to the trends because trends are going to change. But you still want to be uh, in the know as yeah. to what is going on in your industry. We know we get our uh, information from the Holy Spirit, but let's not get so spiritual that we forget the natural applications of things, you know, and have your finances in order. If you can't balance your checkbook, don't even think about going into business as an entrepreneur because you're going to need to have your books in order. If you are a person who don't like to deal with, I'm not an accountant, but you better believe I know what's in my checking account. I know what's in my savings account and keep your personal accounts separate from your business accounts. And if you have a trademark, a, a, a slogan, or if you know the name of your business and you really believe that is the name God has solidified for that business, I say seek to get it registered. Because what you don't want to do is look up 
and procrastinate and say, okay, I'll do it in two years. And then you go start doing the search on the United States Patent and Trademark Office and see that that name has already been taken. Yes, 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 yes. But take it one step at a time and then surround yourself with people who actually believe in you. And for those that don't or don't believe that this is something that you should be doing, but you really believe in your heart that you are going down the right path that God has assigned for you, then you're going to have to silence those voices and, and just hear the voice of the good shepherd. And don't be, um, don't get upset when everybody is not celebrating you. It's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Wow. Wow. And yeah. don't be fearful. You know, fear yeah. stops us uh, from doing a lot of things. When it was, God was really nudging my heart to go ahead and finish up the website and put all the cards on there. I started making excuses because I started getting a little fearful. Oh, well, you know, my camera's not working right. These pictures are not coming out right. And, and all these excuses I wanted to come up with, but God was not trying to hear that. I No, you better <laughs> finish taking the pictures. Uh, he sent me to Amazon, get this light box, buy this light box, put those cards in that light box, take those pictures and upload That's them right. to the website. That's right. <laughs> and then be discerning of the times that we're in. You know, we're in, we're in a crucial time that it really is time to be about the father's business. Uh, you know, as I stated in the workshop that God allowed me to do, is that we don't have all the time that we think we have. You know, we're living in the evil days, but God is dependent upon us to wrap this thing up excellent for him. Amen. So don't procrastinate because if you procrastinate, then you're delaying other people yes. because your, your assignment is not just about you. It's about a whole lot of other people. This yeah. is kingdom work. Yes, yes, kingdom work. It's not you work. Right. <laughs> it's about this it's is about. not the me, myself, and I group. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Elois, I would say this. Um, where can we find your products? If you want to share, uh, where can we find if we want to order, buy it, where can we do that? Our website is www.meditatedmoments.com. Uh, our email is info at meditatedmoments.com and Instagram is meditatedmoments. Awesome, awesome. Well, there you have it, everyone. Elois Sharp, founder and CEO of Meditated Moments. Thank you so much for your wisdom, insight, your journey. Um, I